to my channel. Uh, so this video is just going to be some more. I'm going to be replying to a few more of your comments. Um, not all of them. I will have to spread this out over several videos. Um, it's an ongoing discussion with you people, so carry on leaving comments and I'll try my hardest to reply to them um, in due course. Um, I'm trying to do more of these comments videos because I think it's quite good to um, open up the dialogue a bit more. Um, so let's have a look at some of your comments. As I say, I won't be able to get all, through all of them, but I will see how many I can do. So, so one of the comments um, is referring to self-diagnosis. So you know my views on that. I, I've talked about this a lot. I thoroughly disagree with the whole concept. It's very, it's, it's, it's very circular. You know, the person says they're something, you know, they are something. It's circular, it lacks um, scientific veracity, it, it lacks objectivity. It's just in so many different ways wrong. Uh, but, this <coughs> excuse me, but this person made a comment that they said most adults self-diagnosed before uh, assessment, um, before their autism assessment. Most most adults self-diagnose before their autism assessment, um, or if it's a child, um, often an adult would have performed an unofficial autism diagnosis on their child. You know, the adult might say, my child's autistic. They might have become very invested in that identity. Um, so they've already, in a sense, kind of, um, what's the word for it? Put the cart before the horse, I think that's a metaphor. Before they... Um, before we, before we get to assessment, as it were. Um, so I'm not sure if I would say most people do that, and I'm not maybe I'm not sure if any research has been done into this to uh, to show to what an extent this happens. I think possibly it's 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 that we it's that sometimes the term self diagnosis um, might be being confused to some extent with someone who heavily suspects that they might be autistic or have some other condition um, and wants to have that confirmed. So they don't know, but they want to have it confirmed. They are genuinely wanting support, wanting help. They think that they might be autistic. They, they, they strongly suspect that, but at the same time, they are willing to acknowledge there might be other... Um, uh, possibilities, get, get, get open to other possibilities um, and they just want the doctor, the clinician, the person who's been trained to assess the situation to find out what's going on once and for all. I think there's a difference between that and someone who categorically has affirmed that they are autistic before they've seen a clinician who's invested heavily in that um, to the point where they are unwilling to accept alternative explanations. Now, to me, that la only that latter qualifies as self-diagnosis. So if someone is going to a doctor or clinician with a... You know, they might be very strongly suspecting they are something, but they're open to alternative possibilities. That is not self-diagnosis. That is simply a healthy... Um, white approach I would say to any medical problem because after all when you go to see a doctor not just for autism but for any condition you have to have a suspicion that something might be there or otherwise you wouldn't go to the doctor you might have a concern you might have a worry you might think oh I need to rule this in or out of um you know there might be alternative explanations you're not kind of you know we're all warned about google doctor aren't we one mustn't diagnose oneself that's the case for every condition, because we're not doctors, we can't do that. There are other things that might be going on, we could be wrong, we often actually are wrong. In many, many, in many top, we're very often wrong um, about what we think is going on in our health, and um, only a doctor or someone trained can rule in or out. We, we can't do that. Um, we can have our suspicions, we can have our inklings, we can think, you know, we might have done a lot of research into something and we might think that something is the case. We might have, um, yeah, we might have our suspicions, 
Um, that's fine. That's not self-diagnosis. That's just being open to different possibilities. That's not self-diagnosis. Self-diagnosis is when you close the book and you say, this is what's going on. If they say it's not this, you know, you know, it's basically not allowing for alternatives. It's not the same thing as being highly, high, it's not the same thing as being very strongly suspecting you have something. There is, I do think there is a difference. And I would like to think also that any, um, parent who suspects their children their child has a problem would do the same thing so they might think oh I, I suspect my child might be autistic and they might be reading lots of books on the, on the subject and have very strong feelings that their child might be autistic and there's no harm by the way in putting into place strategies that work for a particular condition if it also works for you even if you haven't got that diagnosis yet. There's no harm in doing that as living as if. But that's not the same thing as self-diagnosis. Self, um, because you're still seeking official verification. So I sometimes suspect that I might have a mild form of dyspraxia on top of my autism. I haven't had a diagnosis of that. I had, I guess you could call it an unofficial um, diagnosis. Diagnosis, sorry. <laughs> when I was at school, because it said on my report that I have a borderline degree of motor skill impairment, which is more or less the same thing as saying borderline dyspraxia, sort of, because um, it's kind of synonymous, really. Um, but I don't have an official diagnosis of dyspraxia, so I can't say, I can't self-diagnose myself and say I have dyspraxia. I couldn't do that, because I don't know. I mean, a lot of this might be connected to my autism anyway, there's a lot of overlap, um, I know that I'm not as impacted as some people with dyspraxia, you know, um, but I do have I do have struggles in certain areas of motor skill, um, and this might just be part of my autism, but it could also be something extra. And of course, I wouldn't know that unless I went for an actual assessment. Unfortunately, right now, it is very very difficult to get a dyspraxia assessment. I could pay a lot of money, um, but I don't really want to do that. Um, so I'm just happy, I mean it would be nice to have to, to know once and for all, but I'm just happy, um, I guess you then just have to make peace with any other thing, well I know what I struggle with, um, I can't say for certain that I have this diagnosis on top of my autism, but you know, it's good enough just to be able to say at this point in time I struggle with X, Y and Z, it's linked to my autism, it is possible that I might also have dyspraxia, but I do not know for certain. That's not self-diagnosis, that's just saying, you know, that's just me saying it's possible. And that's the right thing to do, so I do not know what, what I understand why this whole self-diagnosis stuff. I really do not get it, and I do think it's wrong. Um, and I don't think it's the way to get other people to accept or to support you. It actually often puts people's backs up. The best way to get support is to be honest with someone and to tell them, you know... Not that you're self-diagnosed with something, but to simply say, I have my suspicions, I might be X, Y, and Z, but I cannot know for certain, but I do know that I struggle with this, it might be connected to this, I do not know for certain, but I need support in this area. That's the right way to go about it. So, so that's that comment. Yeah, another, and I think, by the way, and I know you replied to the comment I did reply, and I think you, you do agree with what I've just said there, um, but I just wanted to say it on camera as well. Um, because I think we're probably actually talking from the same hymn sheet. I think often we just use different language for the, for the same sort of things. I just don't like the word self-diagnosis personally. So, the, set, the next one said... I want another comment. Just trying to find it here. So, I'm going to move over to video number two now, because I talked quite a bit on that one, just because video doesn't want out. So, move over to video number two. 